So this week, we are making some big moves. Finally having something done that we have been looking forward to for months. If you can't tell, I'm pretty pumped about it. You guys are here. There's the truck and trailer. And they are currently down in the basement, <clears throat> jacking up the house so we can get this old rotted sill removed. <clears throat> this is what starts the cascade of turning this rundown house into a home. Man, I'm pumped. So as we've explained before, um, a lot of things were contingent on the sill in this house being replaced. Until the sill's done, we couldn't put porches on. Until the porches were on, we couldn't put in drainage. Until the drainage is done, the basement leaks. We also couldn't do the windows in the house because jacking the house could cause the windows to crack. Uh, we also could then obviously couldn't do siding. So just getting this done today means I can start on porches, drainage, driveway, windows, siding. I, I mean, this is gonna cascade into this property is about to transform over the next few months or as fast as I'm able to do the work. But uh, this is the first big major step and getting this house looking better. Maybe Beam won't have to be embarrassed when she's a little older when the bus pulls up here. <laughs> I guess maybe I should explain too. I don't know uh, how many people know anything about these really, really old homes. I mean, this home is 250 years old at least. Um, <clears throat> the way that they built them is down there, you can sort of see it in the basement, you can really tell. They would dig down a basement or a cellar, a root cellar, and then it's hand stacked stone for the foundation. And then on top of that hand stack stone, they would do a hand hewn beam that runs, it's one beam that runs the entire length of the house, which is, Charlotte and I measured it, I think it was like just shy of 36 feet. So a 36 foot long, nine inch thick hand hewn wood log. And then the rest of the house sits on top of that sill. That is what has rotted out over the years is that sill. So basically the entire front of the house is sitting on a giant rotted piece of wood. Now, once that's replaced, we'll be able to attach the porch to it. The house will be more secure. And I will point out, um, the guys that are doing it today, they are doing modern lumber. They're doing uh, two by 12s, two by 10s um, to make the beam. Uh, it'll be just as structurally sound. Now I would like maybe in six or seven years when we're a little bit more stable and have a little more money coming in to have this taken back out and have a hand hewn beam put back in just to keep it more original. Um, I just, I know it's weird. It's not really necessary. I just kind of like the idea. <clears throat> but for now, for the sake of saving a little bit of money to do other projects, we figured this is gonna be a good way to get this house really improved and not spend $4,000 on one board. So I had grand aspirations this week of maybe sinking the footers for the posts for the back porch. Um, unfortunately, it is absolutely pouring down rain. It's supposed to rain and or snow all week. Um, so that kind of eliminates that. Um, also, we have been waiting for the uh, Amish gentlemen. Not sure if they're Amish or Mennonite, didn't bother to ask, but we've been waiting on them uh, to contact us about when they could come do the sill. And they were waiting on the uh, bad weather to rain them out of another job. So we got the call. They're here today. You saw that a little earlier. They're out there working. But <clears throat> what that means for me is most of the jobs I want to do right now are outside. Can't do that. So I'm gonna do a job that is vitally important. And I think every DIY, do it yourself guy, whatever, whatever you are, you do a job, you do it 98%, and then you reach a point where you're like, oh, I'll get that tomorrow. Or uh, I'm waiting for a part, I'll finish that. I mean, it's pretty much done. It's just one handle, it's on back order. Outlet covers are easy, we can put those on at any time. So then you end up with 100 jobs that are 95, 98% done. And that little two to 5%, 10 years later, still isn't done. So what I'm gonna do this week is, I've come up with like three or four jobs that I did that to. Um, there, there are videos on these jobs, and in them I even say, I'll get that later. Still haven't gotten to it. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go through and button up a bunch of little odds and end jobs that I should have finished weeks, if not months ago, and just get those knocked out so that we can, whenever they're done, I can really start cranking on this house and get this place looking the way it should. All right, the first step is I have not gone through and labeled all of the breakers that I've installed yet. <laughs> but, uh, so I just got to trace. It's those three. Okay. Let's see. I need to trip the breakers so that I can make sure I don't electrocute myself while I'm fixing everything. Um, so the first job we're going to do, 
This is the light switch that turns the light on in our bedroom, but there's no switch upstairs currently. So one of us has to stand out here and turn the light out while the other one goes up and turns the lamp on. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna put in a three-way switch and the proper four wire to run up to another switch so that we'll be able to turn the lights off on and off in our bedroom from the bedroom. So let's get to it. Come on, Jack, you gonna help? While I'm doing this, I'm reminded that I really need at some point to figure out what this wire goes to. It's not connected in the basement, so it's not like I'm a concern, but if I can pull this rafter down and find out what it runs to, I can decide whether I'm gonna hook it back up or whether I'm just gonna take it out altogether. But it's one of those jobs, maybe I'll add that on this week. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. I have to pull down that decorative beam, which is like five big lag bolts in order to see into the living room and see what the heck that's even supposed to be connected to. Now, we are good. Okay, uh, one of the nice things is I got this all disconnected, but what I'm gonna be able to do is uh, I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna go upstairs and disconnect this wire. Uh, Roughly, I'm gonna cut it roughly where the other light switch is for the closet lights. But then I won't have to really guess on the length of the wire that I need to cut to replace this, the four, uh, four wire. I'll be able to hold this right up to it. Measure just a little bit of excess so we've got room to play. And if I'm lucky, I can even feed it down through all of these wire hangers that I've already pounded in. So it'll look the same, function the same, but give us the switch upstairs. Might be time to lose the flannel, it is getting warmish. Oh yeah, definitely time to lose the flannel. Meanwhile. So you can see they're jacking this all up so that they can get the weight off of that sill. But you can see how much cribbing, how many jacks they've got used under here. This is why I didn't do this job by myself. And here you can see what I was talking about. This is all hand stacked stone. And then this will be the sill that's getting taken out. Down here you can see a better idea of how high they've got it jacked. Right here in the middle. Getting that weight off of it. So we'll see. I am freaking pumped. These guys have only been here for, I don't know, maybe an hour. They've already got to this point. So up here, what I'm gonna do is, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut this off with lots of extra length because I'm gonna run it into the wall <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this switch out, replace it with a two gang box that way I can put two switches in there. One will feed the closet just like it already currently does and the other one will feed this light in our bedroom. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut this off, pull this out, cut a bigger hole, put that in it. Then we can connect all the wiring and this part should be done. Then we'll move on to the next job I never finished. This should give me plenty because it's just a very thin wall to go in and so that should give me more than enough. I can take this down and use it as a measurement for the four, four wire uh, that I would need to run. And <clears throat> there we go. We uh, have had some things change in the last couple of days. So Charlotte is going to be uh, not working, which stresses her out but makes me happy um, maybe I can actually have a little help with some of these and I won't just be rambling to myself to a camera and so I think it's a little better when she's there to talk to me and uh, adds a little something to the channel but we are uh, just gonna keep plugging along I should be hearing from my buddy Bradford any day now though uh, 
I understand what it's like. I also own a business. He is um, not always the easiest to get a hold of. But we're getting there. Should be any day. There we go. Okay. If anybody's interested, these are the new kittens that have come in place of socks. They're still very little, which is why they're in the basement, but they will be moving to the barn very soon. All right, so uh, the Amish are actually already done. Turned out to be a much smaller job than we had all thought, much smaller than even the Amish guys thought. Uh, they were able to return most of the materials they brought, um, but we did learn a few things that we were none of us were aware of, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quick. So we had been under the impression that the rotted sill we could see outside was this beam right here. Turns out it is not this beam. The actual sill is below this, it's that one. And this beam is not bad, it wasn't bad in most of the area. We believe that pretty much the entire sill was bad, but as it turns out, really only like uh, eight, 10 feet, I'd have to get a tape measure out, but not much of it was, was actually bad. Um, so they cut out the rot and then built a box frame, um, or a box beam rather, to put into its place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the rest of it and there's a little bit more rot, but it's only an inch or so thick and that sill is something like nine or 10 inches deep. Um, so it shouldn't be any kind of a problem, but we'll cut that off and then we'll mount a board and then we can start on that front porch. But I'm gonna take you out front and show you what it looks like. You can see why uh, this week's video is gonna be primarily me buttoning up the uh, inside jobs, because look at this nonsense. It's been pouring for days. supposed to switch to uh, snow later tonight. Get up here under the porch. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, Frank. There's Francis. So here you can see, this is how much that they actually cut out. They cut all that rot out. They cut the bottom of a few boards off that were touched and also rotted a bit and then they put that box beam in there. Um, watch out, dog. So you can see all of that rotted wood was removed, cut out, replaced like that. So it is sturdy, like I said earlier. At some point, I would like to uh, actually jack the whole house up and fully replace it with a hand hewn beam just to make it look original, but that's just stupid stuff to spend money on later for now. All I'll have to do is, you can uh, see here, if somebody else had done basically the same thing. There had been a rotted piece in that years ago, and they just cut it out and put these in. You're not helping me at all, Jack. Uh, they pounded those boards in to re-support it. So we may pull those out of my chest to see how strong they are. Uh, if they're still good, and Jack, can you please? If they're still strong, we'll go ahead and just cut these ends off, make it flush. Uh, remove any of the rot on this here and then um, we'll put another board in there do the same thing the whole way down along here and then we'll be good to go to start putting the porch on so here's our <coughs> four wire so, whoop, see if we can do this I'm gonna get a rough idea here oh look I have a camera on them See, this is why it'll be good that she's not working. I give myself a lot of extra room because I think, probably that much. I'm gonna run it just very slightly differently than the existing wire was run. And then I just have to go grab a saw from downstairs to cut that hole a little bigger. We get this going and probably even more exciting for Charlotte than the fact that we're gonna have a light switch in the bedroom it is the fact that I will not have this spool of four wire sitting on the stairs where it has been for the last a uh, couple of months anyway honestly I really didn't even notice it anymore so <laughs> there's 
Uh, a random spool of wire laying around here is not the worst of the things laying around. What are you talking about? Our house is so <laughs> clean. All right, I just gotta widen this hole out. Big enough for the uh, ooh, for the new box. I got the uh, <coughs> new wire fed from that upper box that I got installed, and I've got it run through the first few wire stays. So if I can get this, then I can hook up this blower switch. Go upstairs and hook up the upper switch. And this part of this job will be done. Now, uh, another job that I never finished is gonna have to be done before I can turn this breaker back on and make sure everything's good, but that's no big deal. Oh, come on. You did not do that, Ryan. There we go. <laughs> okay. That's one. That's two. Here. And then I can get to work on stripping this thing. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I do apologize for the poor lighting. Uh, obviously I have this breaker trip, so there's no light shining on me. It's not quite as dark as it looks in there, but it is definitely dark sitting here on the stairs. It's been nice to not have to mess with wiring for a minute, but once I get these porches built, come on. Once I get these porches built, that's gonna mean I'm gonna have to run lights out there as well as uh, <clears throat> some outdoor outlets. So it'll mean more wiring, but it'll be really nice to have power outside. That Normally I have to run an extension cord, like a 100 foot extension cord from the barn. This will give me power right at the house in the front and back. Okay, so I ended up uh, changing the way that that wiring ran because it's going into this box now instead of just running up the wall and over to the light. It used to run up this way <clears throat> and over to the light. What I've done now is it runs in down there with all the other wires that go into the old master bedroom, the closet now, and then comes up into this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these stripped out, uh, get the two switches put in there, and then this part should be good to go. I can put in the closet switch first because it was already installed. So there's very little that needs to happen there. The wires are already stripped. They already have bends in them, all that good stuff. It would be nice if I could get, there we go. Not that seemed a little bit low. Come on thing, holy crap. This video is gonna look a lot like before you even had the wiring done up here. Is the light even helping? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. My hands is tired. Oh, you're not gonna. Yeah, you are. Cheater. Yep. Happily so. Get in there. All right, I want you to make that noisy and pretend you just made this discovery. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? I thought I had a two gang switch cover. Two I, gang? Yes, meaning two switches. Hmm. I found one in the drawer and I was like, oh sweet, and I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. It's this. Oh, it's this what is for, for the dimmer switches, not yeah. for. So I'll put it on here so we don't touch the plugs today in the next day, but I'll go get another one tomorrow. Okay. Actually, I won't even be able to do that. Doesn't fit? No, the screw goes in a completely different spot. Man, that wow. sucks. Nice. Well, until tomorrow, this is the amazing handiwork that got done. <laughs> I will get into two gang switch cover tomorrow. Okay, I'm so glad that this video is all about you getting projects finished. Yeah, I have my helper <laughs> up here. <laughs> So one of the other jobs, somebody had even commented about it. <clears throat> the day that I hung all these lights upstairs, I did not have these boxes that are actually designed to mount up and hold the wires. And oh, what I did have was a bunch of two by four. So I made this stupid crap and mounted it that way. 
I'm gonna pull this down, I'm gonna put these actual proper boxes up there, run the wires inside. And that's about the same size. I thought it might tuck it back a little more, but it's about the same height. God, I'm hoping I could just get that thing to stay in there like that, but. Stop doing that. Ow! God! I'm slightly less irritated now. That did not feel good. I smashed my finger with the drill. And I didn't like it. screws just a hair too big okay okay ah. I still have three more of those to do but I think for tonight I'm gonna have Charlotte come up here Watch these. I'm gonna go downstairs, trip the break around, make sure everything's good, and we're gonna call for the night. Oh, but you're already maxed out that way. Let's go. Let's turn it out just to here. There we go. That did it. Okay. Hey, how about that? It's a little cleaner looking, huh? You didn't actually think I was gonna leave that single cover on there, did you? Come on, I'm not that lazy. I'm remembering now that when I put these up here, I used these cheap reused screws and half of them were stripped. Which makes this job just even so much better. All right, got the ground on. We're... Nope, that's not it. Oh, we'll be up. I remember now, my back pocket. All right, one more done. Two more left. Come on. Gonna have to get a little creative with this uh, ground in here. That's three. One more. I'm tired of having my arms over my head, I can tell you that. That was special. And that almost sucked a lot. I don't know if it shows in the camera, but it made a cool swirl pattern on the ceiling. And that is four. I'm done with the lights. Woohoo! Okay, got the uh, wiring all put back together. Got the new little boxes, the uh, upstairs light switch, so that's taken care of. So it's two of the jobs that I never finished that are now done. Uh, one that Charles has been bugging me about for begging me for really i should say for months is covering the hole to the crawl space um we get dirt that falls down through there and our bed is directly underneath it um also anytime you open the door if it's cold out you get a crazy cold breeze that comes through there if it's hot out you get heat hot air so i'm gonna scrape the rest of that wallpaper off and then pull those nails uh and then i'll go out to the barn find a piece of wood that i can screw over top of it and that'll close that off this is gonna be a dirty job. So in order to do this, what is that? Is that huh, I just had to lose my train of thought because it just started sleeting hardcore out of nowhere. Charlotte, yeah. look out the window. Oh, all right, let's try this again. Like I said, this is gonna be a filthy job. So I'm, we've got some old sheets. I'm gonna lay over the bed while all this crap falls so I can just kind of gather it all up and take it outside. Uh, but. Nice little surprise. In the process of 
looking for the sheets because we didn't know where we kept them. <coughs> I found this in a chest. This is, uh, I have two humidors. I have one really nice humidor that holds my good cigars. It usually has, like right now, it has probably 50 good cigars in it. Uh, this is a humidor my brother-in-law got me, oh my God, probably 10, 12 years ago. Uh, it's a nice humidor, it's just much smaller than my other one. So I use this one specifically for when I get cigars that are okay, they're not the best, but they're not bad. And then I will put them in here with, uh, like this one, I was putting in with a shot of whiskey and a shot of vanilla extract. And I've been aging these on that for maybe two years now. So I'm gonna have to rehydrate them because they were in the, the foot, the box at the foot of the bed for the last six months. So I'm sure they're really dry, but I'll spend another two months bringing the moisture back into them, getting them back around. And then these are probably going to be Phenomenal. They're either gonna be really good or really bad, but if you've ever aged a cigar on vanilla and whiskey, oh, it's good stuff. Ugh. Already making a mess. So the piece that was hung up here before was um, almost like uh, like real thick cardboard. And so it had just deteriorated and fallen to pieces. And that is why all these nails are still in here. And eventually, this is all gonna have to get redone. But that is definitely not an issue right now. There are far more pressing issues. So just closing it off will be a major step in the right direction. That has got to be at least four layers of wallpaper that were up here. It's all scraped. Um, not looking for perfection, obviously. Just wanted to get all the loose crap that falls. Um, so that's all off of there, laying here. I'm gonna pop out to the barn, see if I can find a piece of plywood or something that'll cover that, and then I'll be right back. Let's run these in, clean up this freaking mess. Okay, giant oh, portal to hell above our bed is officially sealed. Now, this is probably the laziest job that I did not finish, mainly because it's only gonna take me a minute. We never put a, a knob on this bathroom door, so every time you use it, you have to grab, pinch the sides like this and open it. Stupid, but I've just never taken the time to do it. So we're gonna give it a measure, drill a hole, and mount it. Of course, it's gotta be 12 and a half. So six and a quarter. May have to waller it out a bit, as my dad would say. A bit more than that. We're gonna go see if I have one, one size up on bits. That way I can grab the uh, screw that I need while I'm down there. Bigger drill bit. All right, how about that? Huh. It only took me four months to do that. So this week I went through and I got a new cell on the house and I checked four things off of my mostly done projects list. So I'm pretty happy with that and I have definitely made some progress and you can leave me alone now.